És el P3, veus? Això és el laboratori de màxima seguretat que hem treballat. The most urgent need we have is that the governments should provide all the tests required to assess the infection in the whole population. We need thousands and thousands of tests. We have initiated a clinical trial in order to find out if the immediate initiation of therapy after knowing that a person has been infected might reduce the number of uh, virus present in the uh, droplets. So this is the viral load, the shedding of the virus, and, in, and this therefore will impact in the transmission rate. So we are trying to repurpose a drug that has already been approved and commercialized, that it's safe and is on the market to be used against COVID. So last week we started with the recruitment of patients and we expect to have some results in the coming three to four weeks. The people that is actually uh, sick and developed already the symptoms, we send a, a field a team to their homes, fully equipped, fully protected, to just get the sample. But for the rest of the contacts, that they are not uh, symptomatic yet. We ask them if they can come to us in their cars. They just stop next to us and we collect the samples that way. The inside of the car is uh, contaminated. So we ask them just to, um, to get the window just a bit low, just uh, so the, the field team can get the, the sample and then they can leave. So our trial starting very uh, in people that has symptoms for less than five days is uh, offering them uh, hydroxychloroquine plus a second compound but also we are offering uh, hydroxychloroquine to uh, those that has been in close contact with the aim for preventing the infection in those that were not infected. We hope to define or to design a new vaccine that will be hopefully protective not only against this uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus, but also against the former SARS or maybe against the uh, future coronavirus coronaviruses that try to jump to the human species. The idea is to contribute to the uh, arsenal of vaccines that are being developed in the world. I mean, the, uh, in the US, uh, a phase one study in humans has been started uh, already. Uh, in China, there is a, a second uh, vaccine prototype that is going to be tested in humans. So the idea is to have different vaccines that may work in different settings. People is concerned because there is a risk of infection and the disease can be severe. But this is the dark side. The bright side, which is always uh, the most important one, is that we are very uh, excited. We want to fight against this pandemic. We want to contribute to, to end the pandemic. Uh, we need to figure out how we could anticipate other emerging virus in the future. And this is research, and this is money, and it's what we need. Uh, lessons to take home uh, when this uh, will end is that uh, politicians that in a, a, a new scenario like this, they should transfer all the decisions to uh, clinicians or to researchers, to physicians, to healthcare people, but not to politicians, please. We need to be realistic, to tell the truth, to say where we are, to hide the information or to just make it less uh, serious will not end up by uh, helping the population because it will happen what we, ha what we have seen in the south of Europe, that it has been terrible pandemia that could have been controlled much better if we 
if politicians would have paid attention. The truth is that it's a serious pandemic, it's a severe one, and we have to, it's a very contagious, and we have to adopt all the measures to, to require to protect the citizens.